What's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy, The Network. <laughs> Today's topic is section 3.30B, active, passive. This is the subsection in the section, describe, configure, and verify BTP peer relationships and authentication. This is the topic in the CCMP route exam. It'll be known as the CCP, CCNP Enterprise Exam come February 24th, 2020. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exam blueprint to see where we came from and where we are headed. Hashtag, wait a minute, LA Clippers. That's right, we landed Cowie Leonard, but I've been a Clippers fan, if y'all can see. Go way back in my playlist to know that I'm not a bandwagon fan, all right? This is the exam blueprint. Implementing Cisco IP routing, exam code 300-101. We just wrapped up the section BGP peer groups. Today, we're going to be discussing active and passive, which are states that the uh, BGP... Well, we'll discuss that in a second. After that, we're going to move on to BGP states and timers. So what is active and passive? These are... Well, first of all, let's talk about BGP, right? BGP is a routing protocol. A routing protocol is essentially software or application. What sort of application is it? It's a TCP application. And what do we know about TCP applications? TCP applications have this um, mechanism called the three-way handshake, which I'm pretty sure you know what that is if you are deep into your CCMP studies, right? Let's go ahead and do a little review if you don't know what the TCP three-way handshake is. TCP three-way handshake, right? This happens before a client or another device has to communicate with each other, right? First, we have the client over here, which will send a packet called a send packet, right? It'll send it, right? Right now, the act, the uh, session is closed, right? It'll send the send packet. The server or the other end, it could be another router. Let's make pretend these are routers, but normally when you're talking about this um, networking or this infrastructure, we're talking about a client and a server. This could be two routers. It could be two computers. It could be two servers even. But anyways, the send packet gets sent first, the server will receive it. He's right now in passive and open, right? He will send a send ACK packet. When he sends it, the client will receive another send, right? Or he will receive a send. Then the connection is going to be established on his end. He's going to send an ACK packet, which basically is short for acknowledgement. He's acknowledging the message that he's got from the server. And once the server receives it, this connection is established. Now they will start communicating. The TCP session is now considered established and they're going to start communicating, right? So remember this concept when we're talking about BGP. This is what happens before a BGP session is open. Let's take a look at the official definition or not the official definition, but let's, let's get more information on that. So with TCP or with BGP, we have, they go through this three-way handshake, but the session is also called the active and the passive session, right? If you look at this topology right here, we got router one and router two. How do we know which one is going to be active, which one is passive, and when it's closed or open, right? Well, we'll go over the commands on how to de determine that. But first of all, what we need to see is the active sessions, it starts out as active session. If the TCP is initiated by router one, in this case, it is the one used between router one and router two. Then router one actively, so he's the active router he will be establishing the session why or how do we know we know because he has the lowest router id he has a quad one router id he has a quad two router id so if these two were trying to establish a bgp session and he was quad two and he was quad one then he would be be active and will be starting the session initiating the session he will be the first computer basically or the first one communicating right so in this case, the router with the lowest BGP router ID will establish the connection by default. In the, that's the active session. In the passive session, right, router two will accept the send packet and he will passively establish the session. So he's he will be the passive session and he's going to be in the active session, right? And we determine who is active and who is passive and who is uh, the one that's talking on which, which port number, etc. Um by looking at we will run show ip i believe it's tcp session i believe it is we'll we'll, we'll we'll go over the commands in a bit but anyways router one again router one actively opened the session he's going to talk on a random higher port number also so router one has the lower bgp id and he will talk on a random higher port number router two is going to be passive in this case 
He accepted the session, and he's going to listen on port 179. BGP talks on P, uh, TCP port 179. Now, we can choose who is active and who is passive by running this command right here. We'll do that in a bit. You just do neighbor, the neighbor's router ID, type in transport, connection mode, and whether, and determine whether he's going to be active or passive. And uh, we could do this for whatever reason. Maybe we're an ISP and we need to establish communication first. Maybe there's a VPN, a firewall we need to go through, etc. Whatever reason, that's what we could do to show who's going to be active, who is passive. We could also do this with the router ID as well, but uh, this kind of explicitly does it. These are just some definitions on active and passive. I think we basically covered that anyway. Uh, router with lowest ID is going to establish the connection by default. Uh, the uh, the receiving end is going to talk on port TCP port 70, uh, 179. And uh, that's the destination port, right? And uh, the local port is random. So the one that's speaking is going to talk on a lower random or higher random port number. And then one that's receiving, who's going to be passive, he's going to be talking on port 179, right? We'll review that again. See, talks on the random higher port number, sender, active, receiver is passive and talks on port 179. If TCP session fails to establish, then a local router will initiate the other session and set their connect retry timer. We'll talk about the different states of uh, when they're connected or not and uh, the different yeah we'll talk about the different states in the uh next session section rather here's some verification commands uh this is the one i was talking about show tcp brief all and we could also verify it with show IG, ip bgp neighbors pipe include host and debug tcp packets we could also reset the bgp session with clear ip bgp asterisk or star however you want to pronounce that Y'all know what it is when y'all see this little girl. We'll go ahead and fire up GNS3 and play with a little bit and verify TCP active and uh, passive sessions for BGP. Bruh. All right, here's the topology we're going to work with today. Uh, this is really simple topology. I'm going to try to keep these simple now, like when we're talking about little concepts like this. I'm going to try to keep them very simple so that way they're easier to understand. I don't want to have, I, I hate when I see, you know, tutorials and videos when they have like 500 routers, when they're talking about one little concept and they really talking, talking between two routers. Just show me the two routers and talk about what we need to talk about. In this case, we're talking about the active and passive session. We got router one on the left-hand side, router two on the right-hand side. Pop quiz. Take a look at the, well, not really, pop quiz. Just take a minute to think about this, right? Which one, if you look at these IP addresses, will be the active and will be active and which one is uh, passive? Which one will initiate the TCP session? Pause it and think about it. All right, we're back. You should have hit pause. You already know the lower router ID, right, is going to be the active and he is going to initiate the session. Right now, these guys are powered off. I am going to power them on right now, and then I hope we will be able to catch the uh, session. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to shut it down anyway. So let's go ahead and power these bad boys on and just follow these steps real quick. We're going to run a show IP BGP summary to see because I've already uh, configured BGP between these two routers. Let's go ahead and console on router one and see uh, what BGP looks like right now. So he is powering on show IP BGP sum. Right now we have it's not active. It's not active yet, right? So actually, we might be able to just uh, show a TCP brief all because I don't think I, I think I've, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've configured BGP on here. It should be up in a second if it has it. BGP is pretty slow. There it is right there. See, that's why they always say, not always, but I remember Jeremy Chiara from CBT Nuggets. I believe it was him that compared the different routing protocols. EIGIP, I believe, was like a Ferrari. And uh, OSPF is kind of like the uh, the Toyota Camry or something like that. BGP is like a dump truck. You know, they all have their different routing purposes. Yes, BGP is slower, but it carries so many routes. And that's why he compared it to a dump truck. So that's why it took a minute for it to go up. It's a little slower. But anyways, it carries more routes too. So BGP should now be up. Let's go ahead and run that again. And notice it's been up for 40 seconds. That is our neighbor, 3.3, right? That's him. That's his That's his neighbor right there, 3.3. What else we want to do? We're going to run, here it says, run a show TCP brief all. We're going to see what the, uh, which one's active, which one is uh, passive. Show IP TCP, no, show TCP brief. If we do brief, it's not going to show us the listeners. So we're going to add all keyword. 
And now if you see, this is me, right? This is router one, one seven, uh, 10, 174, 3.2, right? He is talking on the random port number, which is higher, 4063 or 4653, right? The foreign address, which is the other guy, 3.3, him, right? We said he talks on port 179, right? And the connection is established. This is uh, what he's listening on. We are listening on the lower port number and he is not talking right now on a random port number. So this connection is not really established, right? So that's why we had that. That's why we had the keyword, the all keyword so we can see what's listening. So this is what happens if you don't add that keyword, right? You are just going to see the established connection show TCP brief, right? Next thing we're going to do is we're going to shut down FA00. We're going to shut down this port right here and or clear IP BGP, which resets BGP connection on either router. Then we're going to run a debug IP TCP packets and then we're going to bring it back up. So let's go ahead and do that. First of all, let's go ahead and bounce the port. So we're going to do a clear IP BGP, right? And here's our sex, our uh, options. We're going to clear all peers. We're going to click star and watch what happens. We should debug first and then do that. But let's just let's just reset BGP first of all. So BGP goes down and it comes back up. Basically, it bounces BGP. We can run it again. We may see the same thing all. And then we go see now it's a, now this is on time. Wait, we'll discuss the states in the next video. He is listening on a random port number again, right? 3.3.2. This guy is listening on a random higher port number, and the listener is listening on port. Uh, 179 this connection again is established right so we can run a DC uh, debug IP TCP packets and we're gonna shut it down and then bring it back up see what it looks like uh, we're going to debug IP TCP packets now TCP packet debugging is on we may see only a bunch of stuff right now we can we can shut down let's go ahead and let's shut down that port interface fa00 shut that bad boy down and you should see things flying so now we've got established waiting here's the tcp uh connections established it's basically going through the three-way handshake that we mentioned earlier it's basically doing this right here so notice sin sin receive synac right so sin synac sin right? that's what the tcp three-way handshake is and the, that connection is established there's that random port number again what else they say i wanted to do we're going to bring back FA00, then we're going to show IP BGP include host. Actually, let's do a show IP TCP brief again. Show TCP brief all. And there is the random port number listening on 179. That connection is established. Let's go ahead and bring it back up. Configure terminal interface FA00. No shut. And then we are going to show IP BGP neighbors include host. Show IP BGP neighbors pipe include host. Let's turn off that. Uh, matter of fact, let's you all. That's short for undebug all. That turns off all debugging because I don't want these messages flying back and forth again. We're going to run that uh, show IP again. And notice this just gives us a clean look on what we were mentioning before. So this is show IP BGP neighbors. Instead of doing just show IP BGP neighbors, which shows you all of this right here about your neighbors, right? Even though we got one neighbor, we got all this information. We're going to clean that information up by just doing the pipe include host. And that tells us the local host, which is 3.2, us, router one, right? The local port, 16.152. And then the other router, 3.3, which is this guy right here. He's listening on foreign port 179, right? Let's go ahead and change who is active and passive. Do you remember how to do that? Pause it and think about it. Bruh. We back? Probably not, but let's go ahead and bring it back to our slides. This is how we can change who is active and passive. Neighbor, the neighbor's router ID, transport connection mode passive or active, whichever one you want to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully I remember it. But you got to go on router BGP. So we're going to make him passive and to make him active, right? So we're going to go back to router one, global, config mode. I forgot what the router I, uh, BGP session is. Let's do a show IP protocols. I believe it's router BGP one. No, it's 6.5.2.3.5. Good thing we did that, right? Because here's the AS number, 6.5.2.3.5. And we're going to go to router BGP 
6.5.235. And we're going to say neighbor. Neighbor's router ID was 3.3. Uh, .3, right? 3.3. Right? .3. And we're going to say connection mode it was. I can't even remember what it was. <laughs> Let's bring it back to our slides. Transport connection mode. So transport, I don't know how I'm supposed to remember that. Transport was transport options. What's our transport options? Connection mode, that specifies passive or active connection. So connection mode, and what are our options? Either actively establish the TCP portion or passively establish the TCP portion. In this case, he's already active right now. We're going to say passive. That should, and then we're gonna clear. I we're gonna we're gonna reset the BGP session. Remember how to do that? Clear IP BGP star. That should bounce BGP. So brings down BGP. Is he up yet? Show IP BGP sum is active. Uh, yeah, he's up. So BGP is up. Oh, you know what? It's active. It's not supposed to be active. We want it established. So we made, we've basically, okay, now it's up. Now it's up. See how BGP slow? So now BGP sum, now we've got a prefix. So now it's up for seven seconds. Y'all see that it took long, how, how BGP is slow like that, right? So let's go ahead and do a show IP. BGP neighbors include host, and we can see now our local port is 179, right? This is us, router one, 3.2. He's listening on port 179. And now the foreign host, 3.3, which is router two, he is on the, he is talking on a random port number, 23132. That is all I got for y'all today. That is my YouTube page. That is my Twitter handle. Go ahead and add me on Twitter. Please share this video. Let them know if you need somebody that's giving you a different perspective on uh, computer networking. Follow my channel, The Network Rough. Please comment, like, subscribe to The Network 